Hey guys, I'm Nathan from NGLEC. Today we're down at Inman Valley. Uh, what we've got here is an off-grid system. Uh, basically, the existing setup isn't big enough for the customer's needs. Uh, the batteries are old lead acid batteries. Uh, we're basically pulling that out. We've got a bit of a temporary thing going on here. The customer's been running this generator for about three weeks non-stop. So what we're doing today is we're here to start putting in the solar racking. We're going to temporarily use this array behind me to help charge the battery. The generator here is undersized. We're going to temporarily use that when we need it until we come back in a couple of weeks to do the large array of panels going on the shed. We've got about 17 kilowatts of ICO panels going on there. Um, SIG Energy, 24 kilowatt hour batteries. Uh, again, that's expandable. So my calcs show that we do need a bit more battery size, but within the customer's budget, that's what we're doing at the moment um, with the plan to expand that in the future. Um, We've also got uh, underground cabling going in between where the battery location is and the shed where the panels are going. So that will be happening when we come back next time. So today is just about getting them up and running on the new system uh, with this small array and basically not having to run that generator 24 seven like they've been doing. So we'll go and have a look. Uh, the guys are on the roof, they're doing the, the racking and I think Maddie's behind me uh, rewiring this group of panels to suit the new system. All right, so I'm standing in this little shed. This is where the existing inverter, charge controllers, uh, the batteries are actually in this room just behind me. Basically, this setup here is, is more suited to the caravan. Um, the loads and needs in this house just are way too big for what this is. Um, this was installed a long time ago, and as people's needs increase, adding more appliances, unfortunately, it's just undersized. Um, I'll show you into the, the battery room, and you can have a look at these old dinosaurs in here. So here we've got the lead, lead acid batteries. Um, basically because they've been ran so hard and discharged so deeply, uh, they've failed. So we're going to be pulling this out. Uh, the C energy system will be mounted in here and in that room which we were just in that will have the gateway which controls the, the generator, auto start uh, and whatnot. Uh, currently there's no monitoring on the system at all. So this is about 100 metres from the house. So the customer's got no idea what the state of charge of this existing setup is. Benefit to the SIG Energy is it will be connected to the internet 24 seven. So they can be down at the house and they can easily pull out their phone and see the state of charge, uh, how much power the house is using, how much power the solar generating and all that stuff that they need to know. So yeah, we're gonna get these out, make some space um, and get it all happening. It's crazy the, the difference in capacity here compared to what we're putting in. Um, these are so heavy for the amount of power they, hold, amount of power they store. Um, yeah, crazy the technology increase. <laughs> I think we'll strip these down to individual cells. Might be a bit heavy on those. Or we'll get the apprentice to do it. So this is the correct manual handling techniques. Um, yeah, just get it done, man. <laughs> <laughs> so now we've got our old group of batteries um, out of this room that we're gonna be putting the new SIG in. Now, as you can see here, um, all we've got to work with is basically a stud wall. So um, to overcome that and um, make sure that all of our fixings are as good as they can be. We're gonna be mounting some marine ply between this timber and this timber. As you can see here, I've marked out our max height for the height we need our marine ply to go. And from there, we'll get cutting, get this stuff mounted up and she'll look as good as new. Proper planning equals perfect performance. What's the other one? Poor planning. Is it poor planning equals piss poor performance? You're telling the story. All I know is just we're perfect and we get shit done. So. <laughs> poor preparation. I think it's more like poor planning or. No. Poor planning means piss poor performance. Is that what preparation equals piss poor performance? Something like that. 
I don't know, we don't use that terminology around here. Positivity. And perfection. Yeah. Equals NG elect. So this here is a SIG energy gateway. This is basically the brains of everything. So the house power supply hooks into this, the generator hooks into this, and then the battery system itself connects into this. Uh, and then from there, there's a bunch of relays and contactors which uh, make all that work. And there's some current sensors in there which give the data to the app to say how much power the house is using, etc. So I'm gonna go ahead, wire in between this existing switchboard and here. Um, we get all that happening, uh, and then we'll get the battery mounted um, and get it all commissioned. So the cable that runs between here and the battery setup, uh, it's basically just normal 240 volt um, building wire. So we're gonna pull that out, um, add an earth in, and put in some uh, correct DC cable. So hopefully it pulls through and, it's, um, and it works for us, otherwise we're in trouble. That little bend going into the shed just made a little different. Like out. And then we'll pull that up on the red thread that will pull the DC in the air. Oh, yeah. If all goes to plan, otherwise we've got a um, bigger problem. Situation, man. So we could have just left the old cable in there, but you gotta do things right, you know? Oh, hey, what's up? It's an inline joint as well, which isn't the end of the world, but at least that's not underground anymore. There we go. I probably want about three meters in there, I reckon. Let me just check that. Please. I reckon about half an hour of time, we'll this thing up and run. could be doing um, but we're getting there we've got the gateway hooked up now we're just need to we've got the battery stacked up obviously um, I've got the new cables that we ran to the solar panels we're gonna extend the conduit for that get a cable between here and the gateway on the opposite side of the wall um, and once we've done that then we'll be ready to turn it on so probably about another half now <laughs> cable between the gateway and the battery, just making sure all the corresponding pairs are good uh, and it tested fine, so we're almost ready to turn it on. All right, so we've just finished the first stage of this install. As I mentioned before, today we were just getting the old system removed. Uh, we've got the new Sig Energy uh, battery system in. We've got the existing generator hooked into it as well. 
um, and the existing eight 330 watt panels are now charging this battery. Obviously that is very undersized, so uh, hence why we're putting the 16 kilowatt array on the shed roof. Um, but we've just commissioned it, everything's on. You can see we've got power. Uh, so the customer stoked, uh, as I said, they're, they're running the generator for about three weeks nonstop and it's very noisy. So the idea of this system is that the generator won't be needed uh, unless it's a really cloudy day or you know there's a, there's a really bad weather event. Um, but the way we've sized it, it should last um, the customer for a couple of days uh, and then they do have that uh, backup of the generator that will auto start when we come back. So uh, I'll just show you what we've done with the battery in here. So we've got the new SIG Energy battery here. Uh, as you can see, it's a modular design. So we've got three 18 kilowatt hour modules. So we've got 24 kilowatt hours of storage. Uh, they can increase this. When we come back, we're gonna extend this board up. Uh, yeah, completely different system. And uh, now we've got full uh, monitoring as well. So uh, instead of the customer having to walk up here and, uh, and see what's going on, um, they can do it from the comfort of their home. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to getting back here and getting this one finished off. But at least uh, they've got uh, this in now so they can um, stop running that generator. There was nothing left to say How to get up, walk away Knowing to hold, knowing to fall Knowing to hold, knowing to fall Hey guys, we're back at Inman Valley today to finish off this off-grid install. Unfortunately, I don't think the weather's on our side today. Hopefully it's good to us and, and clears up, but we'll see how we go. We've got the generator behind me going in. We've got a trench dug from where the inverter and batteries are all the way to the other shed where we're installing all the panels. So we're gonna get those panels done, cabling done. And then fingers crossed, by the end of today, we'll have it all up and running uh, and we'll show you guys how it all works. I'm the last man standing in the street I'm the last man standing in the street I'm the last man standing in the street Alright, so we've just finished installing the generator. Now, what this does is via the SIG Energy app, we can control when it starts. So I've just put a setting in uh, and we've just tested it. So if the battery goes below 20%, it automatically starts and brings those batteries back up to full charge. The only time that's gonna be used is if there's bad weather uh, for a few days and there's not enough solar to charge the battery up. But it's a seamless system and guarantees the client will have power forever. We're gonna jump up on the roof. The guy's about to get the panels screwed down. Uh, and then once that's done, we'll do our final commissioning and we're we'll good to go. Just like that, we are done. You can see the beautiful ICO panels behind me. We've got 16 kilowatts of panels up there. We've also utilized an existing ground mount in the paddock. Now, those panels were wired um, to suit the old setup that was here. So we rewired those panels to suit the SIG Energy system. What we'll do is we'll head in there and I'll show you the SIG Energy gateway uh, and the battery system and how that all goes together. All right, so we're standing next to the SIG Energy gateway. This is the brains of the whole system. So in here we have um, some contactors and some pre-wired switches. So basically what happens in this is our generator wires directly into this, our SIG Energy inverter wires into this, and then our backup circuits wire into this. Behind this panel, there's also a little computer uh, and some current sensors. So this basically communicates with the battery um, and enables us to see on our app uh, remotely what's going on uh, with the, the house load, the battery state of charge, um, everything. Now, um, the beauty of this is it has an integrated bypass switch. If something did go wrong with the battery inverter, it will automatically switch across to the generator. Um, next to it, we've got a little switchboard here. This controls the circuits, which then go into the house. And then behind this wall is where the, the battery stack is. So if you come in here, I'll run you through the C Energy battery. 
So we're standing next to this SIG Energy battery system. Uh, how amazing does it look? It's um, one of the, the neatest looking systems on market. At the top here, we have the single phase 12 kilowatt hour inverter. Uh, and that basically just clicks straight onto the battery modules below. So we've got three battery modules uh, that are eight kilowatt hours each, totaling 24 kilowatt hours. Now you can actually have up to six uh, modules in a stack. So if the client's needs uh, ever increased, we could come back and literally just click some more in, and we can go uh, up to, to six high, uh, so 48 kilowatt hours. And we have left space to do that. Um, so that's pretty much all to run through here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll head outside and I'll uh, talk you through the generator and how we'll size that. So I'm sitting on this Yanmar generator. It's an 8 kVA generator and it seamlessly connects into the sea energy system. So the way we've set it up is that if there was a bad weather event and the solar couldn't keep up with the load of the house and couldn't charge those batteries, this will automatically kick in if the batteries go below 20%. And it will keep charging those batteries until they reach at least 50. Now you might be asking, why is this system off grid? Why is it not a normal grid connect system? The reason is where we are, there's no power lines nearby. Um, and the typical cost to get a power line to your property, a transformer and everything that you need is somewhere between $100,000 and $200,000, uh, which is a lot more than what this system has cost. The other benefit is now the client won't have power bills. Um, so it, it just makes sense. We're gonna be doing a few more of these videos. Uh, we plan to do a few more case studies. So if this does interest you, please hit subscribe and follow along. And if you do have any questions, drop them down below in the comments and we'll be make, making sure that we answer all your questions. Thanks guys, appreciate it.